Hey everyone, just a, something a little different for you today. I went to the car show over across the street at the Rydell Auto Dealer, and it's their annual, 14th annual car show that they do every year for charity, and I vlogged it for you, so enjoy my trip to the car show. Folks, here we are. This is the Rydell Annual Car Show. Decided it's kind of like right across the street from my house, and I used to uh, I used to work for this company, and they do this car show every year, and it's massive. All of the money that they raise here goes to uh, a local charity that they pick before the show, and of course, it's advertised what charity it goes to, and uh, they usually raise uh, several tens of thousands of dollars for this charity. Uh, last year it was for a Veterans Memorial Park they're building here in town and they gave all that money to help build that. And a couple years ago it was backpacks for kids. So yeah, this is it. As you can see, cars as far as you can see. Yeah. Ooh, look at that bet. Love it. Love this car right here. This is beautiful. I don't think the camera's picking it up, but this thing is like a beautiful light purple color. And the camera, it looks like it's red. And there's a picture of it with the owner's wife, I guess. That is gorgeous. Fifty Ford, all original. Ooh, sixty-eight Camaro. Hmm. Cobra replica. Those are pretty. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Old Studebaker truck. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Beautiful. GTO. Nice, pretty sky blue color. Absolutely stunning. Charger. Yeah. 
Yeah, through your daddies. We can look at them, honey. going look at that car 67 Beaumont and look it even has the original booklet the sales advertisement booklet that's awesome well, now we went down that road, so let's go down this one. <laughs> yeah, we've got a lot of roads to continue covering here. This place is huge. He doesn't count as a car guy. What's the latest place? Trans Am, my dream car what I've always wanted. I had a 1981 Firebird when I was when I graduated high school. It was gold. It didn't have the fin on the back and it wasn't the sports model. So it was just an 80 an 81 gold Firebird, kind of like that one in that little car right there, but it yeah. <clears throat> Pretty much the same interior though that mine had. Four Corvette and a 71 Camaro. Always loved the old Camaros. Always thought they were gorgeous. This one's a beautiful bright red color. Look at that engine. Wow. Is gorgeous. Iowa. Absolutely stunning. 66 Mustang. When I was in high school, my best friend's girlfriend, um, well, him and her went to the prom together and I went with her sister. And uh, her dad had got her a 66 Mustang just like that, except it had a black hard top cover. And uh, it was just like that one. And Oh, it was absolutely stunning. Beautiful old Chevy right there, 57. Nice old Chevelle. Beautiful old Chevelle, very good condition. Not a fan of those rims though, but otherwise, yeah. Wow. 
That is a beautiful car. If that was his first car, and it, oh wow. Oh look, here we go, look at this. They won a trophy, <laughs> it's bigger than the car. <laughs> it's cute. Yeah, 2005 PT Cruiser. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know why that's in a car show. Um, <laughs> beautiful bit. 2008. <clears throat> and oh, this is pretty. I love this red. No ranchero. It's the uh. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's the it's the predecessor to it's Ford's version of the uh, the El Camino that Chevy made. They had to stay in competition. And we'll just walk down the next aisle. There's even more cars over here. I got a band playing. I don't know who it is, but I hope I don't get a copyright hit for that. I think I'll just walk down the middle and film both sides as I go. It's a whole lot easier that way. <laughs> There's a lot of cars. Now, I've seen this car here in town riding around all the time. And now I finally get to see it up close. This is gorgeous. And I've seen this one driven around town every day. At least once a day. It's got a V10 under that big hood. And it sounds, when it's running, oh, the sound is absolutely stunning on that V10. Love it. I absolutely love it. I think I just found my thumbnail, folks. That will make a perfect thumbnail. Matter of fact, uh, there's a good shot of it. <laughs> There are some absolutely beautiful cars here today. Look at this. It's an actual drag racer, Chrysler 300. <laughs> That's awesome. Somebody made a modern Chrysler 300 into a drag racer. That's awesome. That Hemi. <laughs> Yeah, see, this is a side of me you all haven't seen. I am a car guy. I am a huge car guy. I've seen this one riding around town before. It's kind of a daily driver for that guy. And 
mean, you miss a whole lot down this side. I was behind this guy at a stoplight last night while I was driving for Lyft. <laughs> I remember the license plate. <laughs> It's a, uh, it's a 60 Chevy Impala, and it is beautiful. How pretty is that? It's a 32, 1932 three window. It's beautiful. Even the interior is just in great condition. Three ninety two Hemi. Here you go, ladies. It's a 2015 Viper. Well, and now we go down to the next mile here. Nice Torino. That's interesting. sure where there's a just regular everyday GMC pickup here but it's here that's nice that is awesome <laughs> it's for sale I wonder how much he wants for it Buick Invicta station wagon 1960 anybody wants it give him a call it's for sale beautiful it's a low rider Nice. Look, look, see, you all Canadians, Sherry, you all Canadians have invaded us. It's a Canadian invasion. But I love this car. <laughs> it's a 2010 Camaro. I'm not a big fan of the orange. I would prefer it in blue, but that's just me because I like blue. Another one of my dream cars I've always wanted. The Grand National from the early 80s. These were, uh, this body style was raced in NASCAR in the, uh, in the early to mid 80s. And as a matter of fact, um, most notably was Bobby Allison in the 88 Gatorade car. Uh, was a Buick Grand National. And now there's a Shelby GT. You don't see many of these out and about. Very limited edition cars. Gorgeous. And it's 
these are very limited edition cars. Oh, and a Camaro Z28. Another one of my favorite cars. It's in a good shape for a, for a 79. All original, never restored. That car is in great shape. Nice, an old AMC Javelin. These were also raced in NASCAR in the uh, back in the day. I love his uh, backwards move over sign. <laughs> so you can see him in, in the rearview mirror. I love it. I love the lines on that car. Just the shape. That is awesome looking. A couple of empty slots there. I guess they had to leave and go back home for the from the weekend. And uh, I'm going to try to talk over this music so that um, I don't get a copyright strike. But yeah, we'll go down the next aisle here and we'll see what we got over here. But the music's getting louder because I'm getting closer to it. So <laughs> I don't want to get a copyright infringement. Just kind of walk casually down this aisle here. Nice Corvette. It's gorgeous. And there's another one. I like that. I like those red stripes on the on the wheels. That's pretty nice. The newer vets are so gorgeous. I think they actually look better than the old ones. They actually look like a muscle car. Ah, there it is. The holy grail for me. There's my holy grail right there. When I was in high school, my mom told me for graduation she would do a thousand dollars on a car for me. And she, uh, this is a 68, but um, we were going through one of the local, you know, classified paper things, and there was a guy who was in the Air Force and he was getting shipped overseas. Uh, being deployed overseas to another base, re, you know, reassigned another base, and he had to get rid of his 69 Camaro that he had just got done fully restoring, and it had to go. And uh, so he listed it for sale for $990. And we called him up and he said, yeah, come and take a look at it. And he lived about an hour and a half away, and we drove an hour and a half to get there, and as we got there, the car was being loaded onto a rollback, and somebody else had just beat us to it. So, ever since then, a 68 or 69 Camaro Z28 has always been my holy grail car. I've always wanted one. One day I'll get one. One day I will have one. Now this is awesome. The 70 Cuda with the eight track player out front. Check that out. <laughs> He's got well, in it, he's got Best of the Beach Boys. Now, oh, look at the great selection he's got here. We've got Barry Manilow, Johnny Cash, Kiss, Deep Purple, Janis Joplin, Waylon Jennings, Bob Dylan, the Beach Boys, Joe Walsh, Simon and Garfunkel, and Neil Diamond. 1970 Cuda 440. Gorgeous. Gorgeous purple. I think, if I'm not mistaken, back in that day, that color purple for Chrysler cars was called Plum Crazy Purple. And it really is. It's beautiful. Another new vet. And a 
an old Challenger. This body style, you may be familiar with, if I'm not mistaken, was in the Dukes of Hazard. Uh, it was Daisy's car, the white car, I think was another brand, another era of Challenger. Uh, I know that the, the General Lee was a 69 Charger. And I want to say that Daisy's car was a Challenger. I may not, I may be wrong. It's been a while. <laughs> Don't judge me. There she is. 69 Camaro Z28. Candy apple red. White leather interior. Fire bottle between the seats. Beautiful, beautiful car. And another 69 Camaro. The RSSS version. Actually, actually, just the SS, which is still, oh, yeah, well, it is the RSSS, yeah. Her shifter, original dash. That is stunning. And I do like those rims. They're not the originals, but I still like them. Beautiful. Hmm, a Z car. Yeah. I don't know. I, I I just never was a member or big on the import tuners. But it looks nice. It's got a racing seat. Uh, racing bucket. And racing belt. A racing wheel. It looks like somebody put like some kind of controllers underneath the wheel. I don't know what that is. I don't know what those controllers are underneath that steering wheel. But... Oh, look. Check out the headliner, it says. Let's see the headliner. Yes, it is cool. No, I'm not going to paint it. <laughs> oh, check that out. That's awesome. Yeah, got to see the headliner here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> looks like the actual felt from a roulette table. <laughs> and here we've got the next, the back row here out by the road. There's my house. You can see it from here. See the brick building uh, right there? That's where I live. So yeah, I told you, it's really close. Literally right across the street. <laughs> This aisle, it's starting to looks like a lot of people left from this aisle. It's a nice car. I love that the new Camaros have that same body shape as the old 68s and 69s. That's what I really, really like about the new ones. And that yellow is brilliant. Need some sunglasses. I forgot mine. <laughs> It is bright and sunny out here today, and for North Dakota, this is a gorgeous fall day for North Dakota. It is currently about almost 80 degrees, and bright, pure, clear, sunny skies. You really can't get much better than this. Oh, look at that event. He just started it. No, he's not there, but... Yeah, we're kind of getting down to the end over here. 
not really a whole lot over in that other aisle. I might take you over there, take a look. But I want to take you inside because the good cars are inside. Um, if they're not inside, then they're undercover over here somewhere. Uh, the Rydells are very good friends of Chip Foos. And if you know, if you're a car person, you know who Chip Foos is. He designs classic street rods. And, uh, oh wow, this is awesome. Oh, that's awesome. I hope this band is not that good. They're butchering the song. It's probably because they've only got... Nah, they don't have a full band, that's why. It's kind of not good. <laughs> An old Firebird here, that's really pretty. Another one from Manitoba. <laughs> Sherry, you Canadians, you're invading us. Every weekend we have a Canadian invasion here in Grand Fork, so it's nothing new. It's a nice original dash in his old Firebird. It's pretty. It needs to be vacuumed. It's 400. Nice. See, the band's so bad, everybody's leaving. <laughs> I don't know who they are. Oh, their name is Cold Shot. I've never heard of them. They're a local band, obviously. And they're not that good. That's probably why they're not more well-known. <laughs> oh, my Lord. This is a great place. Like I said, they do this once a year here at Rydell. This is the uh, dealership. The Chevy dealership, Rydell Group. I used to work for them. Uh, I used to work over at the Honda Nissan store, uh, which is right down the street. Um, they're a great, great family-owned uh, car dealership company. They actually own 94 dealerships nationwide, and they uh, they do this every year here. I don't know if they do it at their other dealerships around the country, but the Rydell Auto Group is 94 dealerships. Uh, it's 94 dealerships in total around the country. 2011 Camaro. I love their little setup they got here. Oh, it's got the, it's got neon underneath. You can kind of see it there in the mirrors on the floor. That's not neon. It's LEDs underneath. Pretty. I love that blue stripe on the side. It kind of that's beautiful. And that's all everything outside. That's the whole outside. Uh, I'll do another video. I hate this song, but I love this car. This song is my jinx song. If I'm ever in a relationship and I hear this song, the relationship ends shortly thereafter. It's happened ever since I was in high school. So, as much as I want to video this car and admire it, I hate this song. I don't want to hear it. I'm not in a relationship right now, but still, I, every time it comes on the radio or it comes on my Spotify playlist, I skip it. And the great bad part is it's a great song. I used to love this song when I was in high school until it became my jinx song. So, yeah, here it is, a beautiful Ferrari. Excellent, beautiful Ferrari. It's absolutely stunning Volkswagen. That is so awesome. I love it, 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 I love it. That's cute. The luggage rack on top with the toolbox. <laughs> That's cute. That's awesome. Now, that is so cool. It's a 70 Volkswagen Bug. Looks like it's all original too, other than that cell phone holder. I don't think they came with cell phone holders in the 70s. Oh, check out the louvers. You can open and close them <laughs> like Venetian blinds. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Oh, nope, Bel Air station wagon. Nice. Yeah, folks, this is the uh, this is the back rows back here. There's there's a whole nother section here. There's where we were at. It was up there. Now we're back here in this back section. So yeah, this is pretty awesome. Good turnout this year. Had a really good turnout this year. Love that truck. Stunning. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, anybody who's a car guy knows who Chip Foose is. Um, he's a uh, designer of classic street rods. He actually had a TV show for a while. And um, the Rydells are pretty good friends with him. And they've had him do several street rods for him for them uh, over the years. And inside this building right over here is some of the Chip Foose street rods that he's done for them and classic cars so we're going to step in there and we're going to take a look um really not a whole lot over here to see as far as something you haven't seen yet so there's a 427 cobra that's nice i don't think it's probably a replica i would say it's probably not an original 427 cobra but it may be i may be wrong we will find out in a second here i love those little seats man look at that it might be an original if it's an original that's awesome you don't see a whole lot of these at all. Yes, it is. It's a 65 Shelby Cobra original. That's not a replica, folks. Wow. And that gorgeous blue. It's about the same color blue as my car. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's a shame you can't see what's under that hood. I'd love to see it. That 427 is probably beautiful. There's Agnes, designed by Wes Rydell, and it was, uh, it was, uh, interior was done by Adam Banks of Rad Rides, and the initial fabrication was by Pinky's Rod Shop. This belongs to the people that own the dealership. Oh, you're fine. You can go ahead and walk by. I'm just doing YouTube filming, so you're good. You're good. I can edit this. I can edit out people walking by. This is pretty. Wes Rydell, he's the uh, father of the two sons that now run the Rydell Corporation. Uh, Wes is the dad. And then you have Brian and Bob Rydell run the company day to day. And they live here in town. And this is uh, Wes Rydell's car. They won several NHRA national events using this Vega. And in this car was the first flip up body in the gas class. So yeah, this is a this is an actual drag car driven to national national championship wins. Isn't that awesome? It's a little piece of drag racing history right there. And now we'll go inside here and we'll take a look at the cars. This here's the Grandmaster. This is their this is their Pride and Joy showpiece right here, the Grandmaster. Of course they've got it up high where you can't get to it. That is an absolutely stunning, stunning vehicle right there. Designed and initial fabrication by Chip Foose and the Foose Design Team. It's won many awards already. It is absolutely beautiful. Here's one of their uh, classic cars. It's, uh, it's being restored, I think, currently. And here's a beautiful gold wing. Look at this car. Uh -huh. 
Yes, folks, this is one of the new Ford GTs. Here's an engine they're currently working on for something. For one of their classic cars. It's just kind of sitting here. This building that we're in is called the Rydell Hobby Shop. This is where they build their classic cars and stuff that for their shows. Um, this is the Rydell Hobby Shop owned by, you know, Wes, Bob, and Brian. And I don't know which one of them owns this beautiful Ford GT, but... This is one of the new Ford GTs. Very super expensive supercar. <laughs> Just stunning. And it, the, the camera's picking it up as kind of an orangish red. It's not, it's a maroon color. And it is absolutely beautiful. This car was originally sold by Rydell in the fall of 1959. It was purchased by an older bachelor from Voss, North Dakota. Today it rests in the same yard. So there's a car that was originally sold at this dealership in 1959. And look at the condition it's in. And it still has the same owner. The original owner. Um... There's another one designed by Chip Foose. It's the penguin. And Miss Ivy is a multi award winner. Actually, Miss Vivi is a multi award winner. This is not a Foose, this is a, an in house fabrication. And there's all of the reward all the there's all of the awards that they won and there on that car hood right there this right here is chip foos this guy right there And the Grandmaster was the 2002 Riddler winner, which was a, a big reward. It's a big award. And the Grandmaster was actually used in a, uh, in a, car advertisement for car uh, detailing stuff and they have the billboard up on the on the wall in here yes this place this is a, a car guy's like paradise. <laughs> if you're if you're a car person, you uh, you feel like you've died and gone to heaven when you come in here. I just can't get over this car. <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> oh my god! I want one. I mean, they're only about a half a million dollars for one of these. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Once I get a thousand subscribers, can monetize the channel. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Yeah. See. <laughs> yeah right <laughs> I don't know what that is but it's the front end off something but it's a motor it's a Chevy, it's a Corvette LS3 motor on a display stand that looks like the frame of a Corvette that's pretty neat and this is where the magic happens folks Yes, they even open up their shop so that you can so you can come in and take a look at it. In fact, there's uh, some pictures of that drag car that's sitting outside with the top up. When it was on the track. That's beautiful. So yeah, they're currently doing some uh, some refurbishment work here. Hello. Um, there's another one that's uh, 
It's another Foose design. So you guys still have to show um, they're still they're restoring it now, and that's what they plan on it looking like. That's very good. Right there. That is awesome. And look at this one. Wow. I don't think they have pictures of what they're going to have this one look like, but it is pretty. It's a it's an older, bigger car. <laughs> <laughs> things long I don't know what kind of vehicle this is they've got it wow wow that's that's wood that's wood wow A locomobile. I'm gonna have to do some research, folks, and find out what a locomobile is. Hey, somebody, they're they're leaving notes for themselves. Pretty cool. Oh, that's what a locomobile is. <laughs> Locomobiles were owned by the rich and famous, including the Vanderbilts, the Armours, the Wanamakers, Oscar Mayer, William Wrigley, President Hoover, General Pershing, Charlie Chaplin, W.C. Fields, Cecil Bill Mill, and Tom Mix. Each body was custom built to the specifications of the purchaser. This car was originally purchased by a wealthy industrialist from Los Angeles. They were built in Bridgeport, Connecticut from 1899 to 1929. And they're considered to be the finest car built in the U.S. between 15 and 25. This car sold for about $11,000 new. And I have to do some research, but $11,000 in 1915 to 1925 was a lot of money. There you have it, folks. The supercar of the early industrial revolution. <laughs> this is so fascinating being here. Absolutely love it. So there you have it, folks. Uh, you've seen pretty much all of the car show. I'm going to take a look around, walk around, and mingle a bit. And then I'll go home and throw this up and edit it. And we will... Uh, I'll throw it up there and upload it for you, and y'all can uh, share the car show with me. And of course, folks, no uh, car show in Grand Forks would be complete without a sprint car. Gotta have a sprint car, because... How's it going? Uh, walk up here and get out. This is all of the cockpit space that the driver has right here. That's it. That's all he has. Just a little, just a little cockpit space. And you see the headrest there, wraps around. And of course, they don't have the steering wheel on. With that steering wheel on, it doesn't look like you have any space at all. But yep, that's a sprint car, folks. God, this band is horrible. <laughs> oh my god, they're horrible. <laughs> Not even in tune, man. He's like way out of tune. So yeah, here's some more cars over here, by the way, up by the building. And here it is. And there it is. Look, it's even got racing. It's even got a fire suit. He races this car. Original dash. It's got to add on tack. Original shifter. It's an automatic. Wow. That is so pretty. And again, this is a uh, either 68 or a 69 Camaro. And uh, Z28. There it is on the track. And obviously it's not street legal with those wheels and tires on it. It's got slicks on the back. 
Oh, well, we got a Cadillac. <laughs> a Cadillac in the car show. Like, why we have a modern Cadillac in the car show, I don't know, but eh, everybody's entitled. It's pretty. So there you have it, folks. Uh, you've seen the entire car show with me. And uh, it's been a great day out here. It's always a great time coming to the Rydell Car Show. If y'all are ever in Grand Forks in like September, uh, be sure to keep a lookout for it because uh, it happens every year around this time and it's just an absolute great fun time. So I'm gonna sign this off and I will see you live tonight at 8 p.m. at my normal time. And until then, rock on y'all. <laughs>